So hey folks, this is Dhruv Bandari, and today I am going to show you my project, uh, which I have been, which I will be submitting for the application of AIP developer at PwC. So I have built a project uh, for the vendors who directly deals with uh, farmers for the ag agri commodity sector. So generally, what happened is these dealers try to uh, come into a contract with the farmers. Uh, for trading the specific uh, commodity for the uh, for a period of six months, or it's based on them itself. So what happened is, if uh, if suppose for an example, the vendor and the farmer comes in contract uh, for the tomatoes, uh, which they will be trading at forty rupees for next three months. Uh, suppose the prices increase to sixty rupees because of some droughts or because of any kind of uh, news events. So what happened is the um, dealer is in profit profitable side of the business because uh, he is getting the commodity at uh, commodity price at forty rupees rather than sixty rupees, and the farmer is in loss. So uh, similarly, the dealer can go at loss sometimes. So I want to uh, suggest I want to make a pro uh, model that will suggest the person uh, based on historical data sets and the recent uh, news and uh, weather data. To tell him that is it a good uh, time to be in a contract or get out of the contract or uh, build a new contract based on that. We will be using machine learning for uh, price prediction, and uh, and we'll use AIP logic for uh, describing describing the vendor about the impacts of the news and uh, weather data. So I want to so uh, considering all the data sets from last. 2016 to 2024 i have combined them and unioned them and did some transformations basic transformations for data cleaning and uh, data pre processing similarly uh, because of lack of time and because of some errors that i have been uh, facing during the project um, i have uh, built the weather data uh, from the website itself and uh, i was planning to utilize apis for that but uh, there was some issue with that so i have collected the weather data set in which there are uh, various temperatures and the rain sum of uh, each district so for now we are considering uh, nine districts of maharashtra and five other commodities for each district so i have collected uh, the news data that consists of some columns uh, it's basically um, events and event description based on which the price, how the price will impact. We started building a model. So Palantir supports uh, training of the model, but because my data set was too large and um, and the computational powers are um, not much because we are building the project in a free version, I had to build the project outside Palantir. So I have built the model outside Palantir. Uh, I was facing this issue from last three to four days, so I just came up with an idea that why not we train the model outside and just uh, import that in our pal uh, Palantir Foundry. So I just um, built the uh, model outside. I trained it. Um, we are we were using LSTM models, which is a great model for um, time series data set. Uh, yeah, just did some feature engineering. I just pre-processed the data. I just uh, uh, use min-max scaler and um, figure out some things and um, we just scale the data set from 0 to 1 you know 2023 uh, we are using it for a training data set as a training data set and from the remaining time till 2024 we are using it for testing so the model actually worked out really well i built the model outside the palantir that day i went to college uh, early in the morning i just used my college uh, gpu it took me a day. Um, I came late that day. I just, I just didn't want to give up, and I just made it. So, I made the model. I uh, saved the model as uh, with an extension H H5, and I imported it. So, what happened is uh, the inference data, the inference file was not working really good. I don't know so why. Of, uh, what kind of Error it is showing. So this was an error that I have, I am continuously uh, um, facing it, 
I don't know what to do. I just tried a lot of stuffs, and I thought that let's just move on, and let's do other things first. And then um, we build a EIP logic for the weather data and news. What happens data. is it's, uh, this takes the user input about the headlines of the news, and it will feed it, and it will uh, tell the vendors or the dealers key whether you have to get in get into the contract or whether the price will increase or decrease. So based on start generating how to get an output. So yeah, so see, based on the typical market behavior, when a country like India imposes an expect export ban on agri commodities, it often leads to a decrease in supply in global market. This reduces the supply and can cause the price to increase. So this was the AIP logic that I was planning to do, but um, I was planning to merge the forecasting uh, forecast from the price prediction system and then uh, using it as a final output but because the problem that I was facing I don't know I just left that part and for that thing I have made some more projects to show you this was this is an analysis that I have made um, using Jupyter notebook I made some visualizations so um, this is the visualization that I have uh, done. The yeah, um, UCL data set that I have used. It's a football data set of the U uh, UAFA Premier League. Um, I have made some visualizations. The total goals scored by the clubs and the various other uh, visualizations. I really uh, like the way how Palantir works, uh, how the foundry uh, utilizes various other resources to stabilize the project and to showcase it in a really good manner. These are some of the visualizations. I'm just scrolling it away. And yeah. These are the things, the top 5 foul players and fouls committed by the players positions and yeah, one more thing, I have made, I've made a quavers analytics, let me show you that, it's a placement analysis, I just took a data set from Kaggle, um, this data, uh, this data set consists of uh, various Parameters like uh, the HSC HSC result, HSC result, the CGPI, the number of internships that a person has done, the number of projects, and various other things. Thing is, not just CGPI uh, or any other thing works. Hands-on experience matters a lot. And it's a small thing from my side, I just made these stuffs. I just made these analytics. I was enjoying making this on uh, contour. This was the first time uh, I used the contour, and in the first, uh, the first time itself, I just made it. It was a really good thing for me, uh, and I will keep learning. I think the error that is occurring in my model, I will rectify it as as early as possible. And yeah, let's see how things take uh, to me. I just made this quiver analysis also for the placement data set. Um, yeah, made some bar plots, made some box plots, made some pie charts. And yeah, this was it. Um, this was it for my side. I will keep learning. I will keep growing. I will see what I can do with these things. This is my first experience with Palantir Foundry. I think I have worked really good in that. Hope you like my projects. Thank you so much. Have a good day.